At this time, PC parts price are sky high. And the most scarce of them all is GPU price. All because of the cryptocurrency price hike. Not only it affected new GPU price, also it affected the second hand market. Not everyone can buy these overpriced GPUs from the retailers. And even if you are a baller, you have a lot of money to pay for these overly priced GPUs. It's really hard to find in retail stores. So what are we going to do? Stop dreaming about making a gaming PC? No, right? So let me ask you a question. What kind of game do you want to play on your gaming PC? Do you like latest AAA games or online multiplayer games? If you like online multiplayer games, what kind of performance would you like to have from your gaming PC? Let's say you want 120fps plus at 1080p from Valorant and uh, around the same performance from CSGO. But if your answer is very different, like my friend who asked me to build a gaming PC within a very little budget, he is targeting for only 30 FPS. Then this video is for both of you. Please watch this video from start to end. My friend told me, I don't care if you build me a gaming PC in a cardboard box. I just want to play Valorant, CSGO, Call of Duty, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, um, Among Us. That's all. He gave me a budget of only 8,000 taka, which is less than $100 and told me to make a gaming PC as soon as possible. But within this limited budget, it's really hard to find PC parts at this time. But I had to do it. And I have done it. The PC you are seeing behind me is the gaming PC I built for my friend. And we are going to talk about the specs and the performance of this PC. And also how we can improve its performance by spending a very little money for its upgrade. So let's do it. Please don't forget to like this video. If you don't like this video, YouTube algorithm will not recommend this video to others. And this channel will not grow. And when you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and ring the bell icon. And please consider sharing this video with your friends. I know it's a lot to ask for. Thank you for your love and support. We got a free CPU cooler with the processor and the motherboard. But as comparing with other CPU coolers, you can see it's very thin and it's not going to be good for thermals. So I'm going to use the right one. For RAM, I'm going to use 24 GB DDR3 1333 MHz RAM and then I'm going to overclock it to 1600 MHz. As our hard disk, we are going to use a 25 inch Toshiba 320 GB hard disk. First time for processor and motherboard. As a processor, we are using Core i5-3470S uh, processor and Gigabyte GA-G61M S2PV motherboard. Now it's time for casing. I am going to use this old casing which I have used in one of my other video. To make our PC look better, I have upgraded our CPU cooling fan with this RGB fan and as you guys can see, it looks very good. First I am going to benchmark the built-in graphics of this processor and see whether it can play some games or not. As you guys can see, it can run Valorant as around 30 to 50 FPS and uh, there will be some occasional dips here and there, but mostly it's playable.
was a lot of hiccups. It was obviously. Only for around 3000 to 3500 taka in Bangladesh. And if you upgrade your PC with this graphics card, you can run the following games in these frame rates. And now, as you guys can see, I'm running Rocket League and I forgot to turn on the FPS. Even though you can't see the FPS, you, uh, you can imagine the game runs very smoothly and the graphics is set to high. You guys can see the frame rate on the upper left corner. Now I am running Fortnite and the frame rate is hovering around uh, 50 to 70 FPS and the performance is very good. any glitch when I was playing this game. Will this PC go ahead and do it? Not only this PC exceed our expectations, also we can upgrade this PC down the line with a very little cost for a smooth 1080p, low settings, 120 FPS plus gaming experience as you have seen in the video. So guys that was all for today. Don't forget to like this video if you like it and consider subscribing and ring the bell icon. See you guys in the next one.